guys, I'm back again today, and today I'm going to show you how to make a paracord keychain. It's pretty simple. All you need, I'm using a one-inch split keyring. Got six feet of cord, a pair of scissors, and a lighter. So the first thing you want to do is again you want to take the cord, find the center, run it through your fingers real quick. Then this one you want to do with the cow hitch. You just go front to back on the ring and you pull all the cord through. You want to keep this really loose because I'm going to show you why you're going to want that loose in a minute. So then I'll just come back and I'll fold the keychain or not keychain, the cord. I'll fold it back up to the cow's hitch. Just fold it in half. And then I'll do the cobra weave again. Which like I showed you yesterday, it, you take the right cord, right side cord, uh, over and under the other cord. The other cord comes through to the loop you made. And oops, I made I made this a little too long. You gotta have it you gotta have it at the right length, otherwise it doesn't work. And you do need to have a slightly tight cow hitch. Because otherwise the whole thing just comes loose when you try to fix it. But you you're not gonna want this excessively long because this is gonna be going in somebody's pocket. So just do a loose cow hitch. This this all is you just feed it through like that. It looks like that, like that when you tighten it down. It's basically what holds the cord on. But you want to do it loosey for this, and I'll show you why whenever I get done. So you want to, for me, the way I do it, I uh, remember it. I just stick the ring and the tip of my longest finger, and I run it down to the end of my palm. And fold it over there. And that gets me about the right length. And I just do the cobra weave like I showed you in my last video. If you've seen it, if not, uh, I say go check it out. And just tighten it all down. And just do the cobra weave real quick. If you do this enough, you can get fairly good at it. And I'll probably I may film this. See if I can get it to work. It down to maybe about an inch or so before the final thing. Do like in the last one, I showed you grip here and move that right down and it tightens the weave up. Then you want to just keep doing the cobra weave until you get back down there. Like I said, this will lengthen it out and I made it slip up or something. Didn't. There we go. And just keep doing that. So you get down there again, or you get the point of running out of cord. This is about six feet of cord, so I got a good little bit. This is going to be a, kind of a lengthy keychain. Key May use a little bit too much cord. I can fix it if I need to. I mean, it's just trial and error when you're doing this. Sometimes, sometimes it works out awesome. Other times it doesn't work out so good. It's just gonna. I mean, it's just a matter of practicing and all out. So, I mean, I've only made two of these. This is my third. But, I mean, it comes to practice. I mean, you'll get, I mean, everybody gets better with a little bit of practice. So, that's all I'm doing. I'm just practicing. I'm showing you guys how I do it. And that gives me a little bit more practice in it. And when you get down there again, just tighten it. And so, it fixes all that up. And as you can see, I'm running out of cord again. Uh, but as you see, the cow hitch has tightened. But it, once again, I'm sorry I haven't been able to show you guys this, but I mean, I keep running out of cord. I make, I'm making stuff too long, so I may uh, redo it, take a picture, add it to the end of this video. But if you like the content I'm putting out, uh, tell your friends, share it on Facebook. Just try get. I'm trying to grow the channel some more. Just you guys, you guys can help me on that a little bit on that front. But another reason you kind of want to have a loose cow's hitch up here uh, is so that this ring will swivel so you can get your keys and everything on there because you get it down in this little groove here where the keys go on. I don't know if you can see it. It's got focuses. But see, there's that little groove. So you want it to be able to still swivel in the chain. 
So you don't you don't want it extremely tight, but you want it tight enough to where it doesn't want to slip off. And it, uh, like I said, I'm gonna probably fix it this out. I'll probably reuse this cord in another video. But there's that little gap there. But I mean, you probably want a little bit more, more or less. I mean, it's just still it's more of an, this is more of an experiment. Still, I'm still learning on it. So, but just remember at this stage, just when you get there. Snip the snip the ends, singe them, and you're good. I'll see you guys on the next one.